I'm going to show you how to do some flashy lighting in RPG Maker MZ. I've got this arcade level here, with assets from my tile set, which I'm still yet to announce, but don't worry guys, I will announce my new tile set soon. And this map's great and all, but it doesn't really capture the vibe of an arcade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flashy lights, and I'm going to show you how you can do it as well. Letting everybody know now this is an epilepsy warning. There is going to be lots of flashing lights. If you have epilepsy or suffer from seizures, then please do not continue to watch the video. We're going to be on this level here, which is our arcade level, and up in the top corner we're going to create a new event, and we're going to make it a parallel process. Go over to the event commands, on the second page and go tint screen. First we're going to tint it dark, and that's going to happen over the course of 10 frames. Wait for completions on, OK. Then what we're going to do is tint the screen blue. So, we're going to make it back to normal, bring the red down and bring the green down, and now it's going to be blue. Then we're going to tint it back to normal. Again, all of this time we're waiting 10 frames and wait for completion is on. Then we're going to do it again. We're going to tint dark, then we're going to tint red. We're going to go back to normal again, we're going to tint dark, and then we're going to tint green. Do that by lowering the blue and lowering the red. Finally, we're just going to tint it back to normal, and that's all there is to it. Now, when we come into this map, it should be flashing. Don't forget, if you do love my videos, it really goes a long way to hitting that like button down below. It helps me out a lot with the LTube algorithm. Right, we're about to go to the arcade. We're at the arcade, and you can see we've got all these flashing lights to give it this atmospheric feel. Now that was quite flashy. If you're wanting it not to be so intense, what you can do is go into the tint screen function. Instead of 10 frames, you can just double that to 20. So we'll just do that for all of these. And there we go, we've got this ambient feeling of an arcade with everyone playing their games. You looking to buy some game tokens, champ? I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. It's just something I figured I'd share while I was making this level myself. Don't forget to drink some water. Catch.